Indonesia confirmed its first case of the Omicron coronavirus variant in its capital, Jakarta. The variant was detected in an employee at an athlete's village, which is now serving as a hospital. He had no history, however, of any overseas travel. The health minister now has said so far there was no community transmission. But there were five more suspected Omicron cases, including two Indonesians who had recently returned from the United States and Britain. Three Chinese nationals are currently in quarantine. The government is waiting for genomic sequencing to determine those cases. South Korea will reinstate stricter social distancing measures a month and a half after easing them under a living with COVID-19 policy. As a number of new infections and serious cases increase, curbs will return from Saturday to January 2nd, limiting gatherings to no more than four people as long as they are fully vaccinated. Unvaccinated people can only dine out alone or use takeout or delivery services. More than 92% of South Korean adults are now fully vaccinated. But the number of new cases has surged nearly five-fold since the rules were eased last month, while the number of serious cases has tripled. French medical staffers are feeling exhausted by the prospect of tackling a new COVID-19 wave. This when there is acute shortage of staffers, healthcare systems across Europe are facing increasing COVID-19 admissions. There is added uncertainty of how the new Omicron variant will affect public health. Many have quit because they were lured away to work in private clinics or in nearby Switzerland for better pay and less taxing hours. Another factor alienating staff was, was the vast majority of serious cases and those were among people who chose not to get vaccinated against the infection. People queued outside London Science Museum to get COVID booster shots. This as a highly transmissible Omicron variant of the virus surges. Data shows that new COVID-19 infections in the United Kingdom reached the highest daily level. British hospitals, particularly in London, are struggling to maintain staffing levels because many are quarantined after being infected. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson praised the speed of the UK's booster shot program more than 45% of adults have received a third jab, including 88% of all those above 70 years of age. Thousands march in New Zealand's capital, Wellington, to protest against COVID-19 vaccine mandates and lockdowns at a time when the country reached the 90% fully vaccinated milestone. Security was tightened outside Parliament with entrances closed off and dozens of people deployed. The government has mandated vaccination for teachers, workers in the health and disability sectors, police and other public service sectors as well. Under mounting pressure, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern eased most restrictions ahead of the Christmas break. The bells rang out again at the Washington National Cathedral, marking the loss of nearly 800,000 lives in America to COVID-19. The United States braces for a potential surge in infections with colder weather and the highly transmissible Omicron variant of the virus. The milestone means that the U.S. death toll from the virus now exceeds the entire population of North Dakota. The country has lost more lives to the virus this year than in 2020 due to the more contagious Delta variant and people refusing to get inoculated against COVID-19. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.